today we're not going to talk about wood. Uh, before I was a woodworker, I was a uh, electrician for 35 years, and we're going to go over today some of the misconceptions about electricity and some of the ways you can save. Now, most people out there are going to call this a light bulb. This is not a light bulb. This is a bulb. You plant this in the ground and in the spring some kind of flower comes up. This is a lamp. You're going to say, wait a minute Joe, if that's a lamp, what's that thing? That ain't a lamp. That's a table fixture. So we still install our lamps in our table fixtures or other fixtures. I know it's boring. I got to do it. One of the biggest advancements to come along is the compact fluorescent lamp, CFLs. And the comparison here is this is 60 watts, this is 13 watts, but they put out the same amount of light or lumens. Now when you get into watts, which is power, that is what you pay for. So you can either pay for 60 watts or 13 to get the same amount. Now I know this costs like $3 and this is a buck, but the big overall savings is that this has a life expectancy of about a thousand hours. This has 8,000 hours. So the other thing at the bottom line is that in one year, if you ran this totally for a year, 24 hours a day, it would cost you $33 to run this old incandescent lamp. It would cost you $9 to run this one. So this is the ticket. This, I know you won't believe the government when they tell you to switch to these, but the government's right. What you need to do is shut down this video and immediately run out and buy these things. Because they work. Now we're going to lay these down. I know they'll fall off. Oh, the other thing about these, these just replace them. They have the medium base. And the newer ones now, you can get the three-way lamp, and you can get the kind that, that works, uh, that have dimmers. The other dinosaur that's still out there, if you have any of these, this is the old, it's been around forever, uh, four-foot fluorescent lamp. It has the big, heavy black ballast that consumes uh, electricity like a hog, and they're noisy. They've been replaced by the T8 lamps. Now what you need to do though, uh, you can just swap this out for your old incandescent. This here, you have to get a new fixture that uses these or replace the ballast inside to one of these electronic ballasts. These use just a fraction of the current that the old type did. It's really cheaper just to go get a new fixture. But if you do have these old dinosaurs in your garage or anywhere, it is cheaper for you to go to change them out. They'll pay for themselves in a year or two. Also, by these figures you, I just gave, if you want to give someone a present that's up against it, they have trouble paying their electric bill, go give them a gift of these. These are the greatest thing that's come down the road in a long time. One of the other uh, misconceptions you'll hear people say, it's cheaper to leave something on. Turn it on, just leave it on, because when you turn it on and off, you lose, use way more electric. That is not true. This lamp here takes an amp to turn it on, and that's all it draws the whole time. It draws one amp of current. Where that comes into play is our friend the sweeper here. Now I know you all at one point have been in a home or maybe your home where the air conditioner or the furnace motor comes on or someone turns on a sweeper and the lights dim. The reason for that, in an inductive motor, which is an AC motor, they take, if this draws 12 amps of current, it'll take three times that amount to get it running. So 30 some amps just for an instant, but that's being reflected back on your electric bill. So, when you have a device like this, you do not want to be turning this thing on and off all day. But this, it's like when we learn electricity, they compare it to water. 
A lot of the characteristics are the same between electricity and how water flows. And is it cheaper to let your water run all day? No. So turn these off. You can save more by turning things off or even going to candles you can buy at the thrift store for 50 cents a dollar. Turn them on at night. My mother used to do this all the time. They didn't have a lot of money, she would burn candles. One of the other things you'll hear is, I save money because I use a dimmer. No, you don't. That's an old husband's tale. What happens is, your lamp is dimmer, which is nice, and we all have these things, but the rest of the electricity is being sucked up in this thing. And you can tell that when these are on, just go over and put your hand on the plate or on the dimmer, and it's warm. That's because the electricity you're not using up at your lamp is being used in here. So you're not saving any money. These are nice, but you're not saving any money. If you happen to have a dimming situation where you're using these, you can still put these in, but unless you get the kind that are matched to the dimmer, they'll just come on and they'll be full brightness almost automatically. So, but you can still change them out. So, in summary here, this is the ticket. Go out and buy these. These are the best invention that's come down the road in years to save money. So, hope this has been informative for you and have a nice day. I used to edit this part out, but then I realized I'll never be Ron Howard. <laughs>